Mm, okay, uh, once again, uh, you're welcome to Heroic Academy. This is a quick tutorial to explain to my students uh, how to work around the URL issue. The product category is not showing properly in the URL, and that's the issue. So, this is what she, he's getting. And the problem here is okay, let me show. Uh, uh, this is the site, like when you go to the category and click, it's showing not found. And there's the issue. The issue here is that there's a space here, and the space is not taken care of in the HD access. So you have to close the space. Use iPhone. Okay. The convention actually is uh, when you want to add text that has spaces in the URL, try to format those text, strip off things that are not accepted in the URL, like high, uh, like space, um, maybe question mark. Uh, uh, yeah, question mark and um bracket you get me so these things uh, are not necessary to be in the url so you remove all of them then repress the ones you are going to do like space space you can repress space with with um hyphen do you get me very good so and that's what i'm going to do quickly for you you just know that if, uh, for your application you might go beyond just giving it had added hyphen to it you just create a full function okay a function that will format the url before displaying it, displaying it so you just in that format in that function you remove the space then you remove uh maybe a bracket if there's a bracket okay mm, uh, just when you google it will be easy for you to for example if you want to remove a, a bracket from a string just let's say how to remove a bracket from a string how to remove i'm just telling you how to learn okay how to remove a bracket from a string okay. from a string in PHP okay so when you do that now you're gonna see options okay you're gonna see options if you go to this uh, uh, stack overflow I believe you use it to so you're gonna see this just copy this okay add it to your function do you understand add it to your the function you create to remove a uh, bracket in case if there's bracket okay let me just copy it so let's go there but the one i'm removing now is uh, i'm going to okay first of all um, do i need to create i'm not going to create a function actually but in your own case try to see if you can create a function in in uh, in um i don't know I, I don't really want to go deep in this tutorial that's why i'm trying to reduce the the much i would do so that I will leave you to do some certain things on your own. Okay, just go to category cr class where you have category class. Create a method and a public me method. Then in that public method, it will accept a, a an argument of uh, the category category title. Okay, now uh, the it will accept a category title as a parameter. Then you now use this method to format the, that category title. Okay, use this method. The first one you are going to do, maybe first of all, you strip it off in a bracket. Case if there's a bracket, to remove the bracket. Okay, just say maybe category product category. Maybe you can call. Here I'm doing it directly, but in your own case, we're going to create it as a method so that you can reuse it. You can reuse it. Okay, that uh, that's the essence of creating a method or function. So you can re so you don't have to be creating it all the time. You want to use, but this one I'm going to create it. I'm going to just do this directly here okay maybe I, I didn't actually point out this in my tutorial i don't know if i pointed out but just learn it from here so we say product category for example category or category title category title title equals to um then you strip off you strip off this will help to strip off the bracket okay then this is where you are now going to add add the product category which is this one pick it from here put it here okay so this will strip off the bracket first even though the one you are showing me doesn't have a bracket but there's a tendency that in the future you might need to create a a, a, a category with bracket you understand so you strip it off mm -hmm. they might also add another another one that will strip off uh, um, maybe ampersand if there's some or question mark in case if you have a category that has that but 
just make a quick search to see how to do that okay but the one i'm going to add now is the one that will um uh, repress uh, to repress um ha, uh, empty space with uh, oh sorry um, it will repress empty space if not array please so i'm going to remove the array so what i will do now is empty just if there is empty space like this let it repress it with uh, let it uh, what's happening my, my keyboard is not responding okay let it repress it with this okay okay yeah let me use the same okay okay i got something i'll explain now this is what i'm saying so what i'm saying here is okay after removing a bracket in case if there's any bracket we'll remove it after that it will shake if there is a space in this uh character okay I, in this string if there's a space it will add hyphen in between the spaces okay then after that that's all you now take this copy it and they replace with this one uh, with this you've taken care of it mm. now let's try it again let's try it again let's go back uh, let's refresh mm -hmm. and if we, if we go to this product category and point out you see that it has a space in between do you see gets it but the issue is that this category will be showing with that same hyphen that means you're going to go to product category page and uh, strip the iphone too okay mm. so you can now get to any do you see this one has hyphen also in between the spaces which is great okay um but in ca if, if you want to strip it go to you can go to um um product category page or rather the categories page to strip whatever you are getting product okay you're getting product id here that's product title on that underscore gate you strip it off the maybe you can say mm, string dot repress like we did before okay then this time around anywhere oh sorry repress this time around anywhere there is um anywhere there is a hyphen repress it with uh, with um space you get it yes then you now enclose everything here we'll put comma here close it up yeah. so that's what we're saying so whatever you're getting from the url strip it off this okay so if we go back now if i should refresh you see that we don't have the space again and that's perfect that's perfect okay so whichever one you choose choose this one you see that you get it and they know this again so that's how you do that okay thank you so much i wish you good luck